Beam 2024 here in Bilbao. Now this exhibition is host to about 1,500 exhibitors and we'll see almost 35,000 attendees this week. Uh, over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you some of the best bits. center stand we're looking at an Akuma Maltus U3000 and what this is demonstrating is something that's really popular at the moment we're seeing around industry is the creation of gears on these multitasking machines now this particular uh, this particular demonstration is showing uh, gear hobbing and gear skiving and they've told me earlier how easy it is to actually program this in the machine which would always be one thing I'd be thinking okay it can do it but how easy is it to create the gear all you need to add in is things like the number of teeth the length of the gear, uh, also the helix angle, but it's so, so simple. But secondary to that, which is really fascinating about this uh, setup, is on the second spindle here, there's also another demonstration. Now this is to uh, illustrate the fact that these machines, albeit a mill turn machine, often people look at these and they think they're turning centers, but actually with a milling head like you've got here on this machine, these machines are doing jobs that you would normally expect to be done on a five axis machining center. And this is just one of the demonstrations that they're showing here, or one of the machines they're showing here from Akuma on the Max Center stand. Come to a trade show like this. If there's Makino here, you've got to take a look, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Now, this is the A40. What's really interesting about the Makino, if you see inside this machine how quick they are, is that they used to have an A55, which was a machine that was introduced about 25 years ago. Now, that had rapid feed rates of 90 meters a minute. This has rapid feed rates of 60 meters a minute. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, this is slower than a machine they developed 25 years ago. Well, actually, no, it's faster, and it's faster even with 60 meters a minute because they focus now on jerk rates. What is a jerk rate? Well, a jerk rate is really the acceleration of the acceleration. there was a prize for the largest machine at the show, it could probably go to Coria. Now this is one of their Norma machines. This is, um, if you look inside this machine, it's a multi-axis machine, it's got uh, turning capability, it's three and a half meters in the x-axis by 1.2 in the, uh, or 1.25 in the y. But what's really interesting about these machines is the head technology. Now that head in there can move to over 360 million positions. to work holding and automation and flexibility as you probably are if you're a, a machinist then you cannot come to a trade show without going on to the SMW Autoblock stand whether it's uh, collet systems chucks fixturing solutions automation they have everything here and some cracking new products I look at sliding head technology a lot. This machine caught my eye from Sagami. When I look at this, I'm kind of thinking, okay, so where's the strengths in this machine? What are they trying to achieve? You can see here, it's a sliding head machine, but you've got a head, a, a B-axis head, at the, at the, or a milling head at the back of the machine, which seems to be purely operating on the front spindle. And then here, you've got secondary operations for the second spindle, where you've got a collective of tools. But I'm kind of thinking to myself, okay, What's the differences between this and what I would see with lots of platens from the main spindle and the, the sub spindle? And I'm guessing it's that milling head. I'm guessing this gives you lots of flexibility, speed, and probably more power than you can get on a traditional sliding head lathe, which means for those more trickier and, and let's say more demanding app milling applications, this machine could be perfect. I don't know much about welding, but what I do know is when I come to trade shows like this, I always learn something new. Now this is the Mazak FSW 460B. This is a hybrid machine. This is a friction stir welding machine. And it also is a machining center as well. So you can basically take uh, materials, you can weld them, and then you can machine them afterwards. This is 
being used and can be used for such diverse applications. And I have to say that being here this week, this is one of the most novel and the most interesting uh, technologies that I've seen. And there is a full video on this coming to our YouTube channel soon. by me standing here that I've got two companies that we're very familiar with, Tornos and Starag. They're now one, the Starag Tornos. <laughs> Everybody's familiar with Brothers Technology. They do their vertical machining centers, their high-speed machining centers, five-axis machines, and in fact, mill turn machines. Well, now they've gone one step further. This is the new H550XD1. It's a horizontal machining center. And if you want to learn about multi-process machining, then you should have been, or you should have come to the Abarmier stand here. Now, this is a THR uh, machine. This is an incredible piece of technology. This has got an A-axis head hook on here, so it's so flexible and versatile. If at 80 kilowatts of power on this spindle, 12,000 RPM, you can achieve negative angles with it as well. And if you just look at the application, this is all about multi-process machining. We can turn with a five-axis machine. We're interpolating here on this uh, on this part. We're also doing gear skiving, and there's also diamond burnishing. So it's totally, totally flexible. And when I look at machines like this as well, I always look at them and think of the more basic things that really excite me. And one would have to be even things like the swarf control. I mean, this machine is going to machine a lot of swarf. And to evacuate it, you've got two augers either side. You've got great coolant flood wash throughout. You've got a roof that opens to allow you to load the machine. And just look at me standing here. The access to this machine is not only uh, easy, but it just makes life so good for the operator. And this machine has been in the show here all week uh, at the BMU Show. So you've got to have a bit of fun when you come to these places. It's not all work, you know. As they say, go hard or go home. <laughs> <laughs>